Hi, it's time for Twingly Light hack again. In my previous episode, I have shown you how to download the zip file from the Woom app and send it to Twingly Light. And today I want to show you how to make a playlist of zip files. But this time I'm not going to use Android app, uh, but a command line program on Windows. So if you are not familiar with the Devoom app, so I recommend you to check out my previous episode how to use the Devoom app to download the zip file. In order to do this, I assume you have already downloaded some zip file and copied to your laptop. In my case, I put all under my GIF directory and you can have a look here. Uh, there are subdirectory. I put it in emoji pattern, and this is all so important for the program. Make sure you got subdirectory, whatever you want to put as a category or whatever. But we need the subdirectory. Don't put all the GIF file in one single directory. So I also assume you have already done the mapping with your Chengli lights before you are going to try this, and also have check out the IP. I've talked about all this uh, in my previous video. So if you don't know the details, I recommend you to check out the previous video. First of all, you need to download the app. I already defined a shortcut for the download. It's called tiny.cc and gseq10. Okay, then you will see the preview here. Uh, I've already downloaded uh, the file and it's here and I already extracted to this directory. Now I'm going to show you on the command line. In order to open my PowerShell console, I am pressing Windows key plus X and then I. So let's go to the directory here. So you can see this is the directory. Now I'm going to run it. In this case, I'm not using my development laptop. So basically the Java runtime is not on this machine. So it just want to demonstrate what could happen with your machine if you don't have a Java runtime installed. So you can click on OK. Go to the Java website. Uh, we don't want to look at this. I've got another download which included all the Java stuff, but which is much bigger than this one. So let's go back to here. I'm going to delete this one. And this is another download. Uh, the link is same as like this one. And then you put a J for Java at the end. And it should show you another package. This is much bigger. It's uh, about 80 megabyte. I know it's not good, but I don't know how to do it better. I, I will provide the source code and someone can modify and improve it. I'm more than happy to see a better version. And you can see here, then this Java directory will be included. Now I'm going to extract this one. So it's done. Okay, now I'm still in the same directory. So let's run it again. This is uh, with the new download with the, all the Java library thing. Go run it. Okay, at least now there's no error. And you can see there are two usage lines. One is to generate the CSV file. The other one is read the CSV file to send to your Twingly light. Okay, let's do the first step first. We are going to generate a CSV file. As I have mentioned before, my GIF files are all under 
one directory plus subdirectory. So you can see it's here. And my subdirectories are emoji and pattern. Now I'm going to use the command and my first argument will be my GIFs directory. Enter. Okay, now you can see the message. There are three files under the emoji and five GIF files under pattern file. Just make sure this is correct. There are five and three. So what it has done, it has created a default playlist. You can go to the directory under data. And this is a gifsql.csv. This is gener just generated. Now you can open it with a notepad. But somehow on this machine, I have the problem is that everything is in one line. That wasn't the case on my other Windows 10 machine. If you have problem with Notepad, uh, then you can try with WordPad. But make sure you save it as a plain text file. Since this one is uh, generated by default, before I modify it, I'm going to make a copy of it. I call it demo one. Now I open it with my editor. So you can see it's a CSV file. And uh, the first column is the duration by default all set to zero. And the next one is frame per second. So basically this is the play speed of the GIF file. And the third one is the name. The last one is the number of frames of the GIF file. If you don't want to run that in your playlist, you can delete the line or leave it as the zero duration. It will be ignored. I just did a mistake in my demo file. So I'm going to do it again to demonstrate the speed of the GIF file. So let's look at the first one here. This one I'm going to ignore. I leave it as with zero duration. And let's start with this one. This one uh, has 45 frames for the entire animation. So I need a little bit longer to play it. Let's say three seconds and 20 frames per second. Okay, this one I put it as two seconds. So this should be enough. And I just want to show you with the speed here. I'm going to copy the same line and I change the speed to half of it. Maybe play it a little bit longer. And let's place two seconds here. Now save the file. So now let's send the file to my Twingly lights. We still need the first parameter where the GIF files are because you need to read the graphic data from there. And of course my IP address of the Twingly light and the playlist file, the CSV file. Even though we are putting it in under data directory, but do not put the data in the file name. Now send it. So you will see it's showing processing the files. And it's playing now. Now this one is the rain. You can see this is the slow speed here. And this is the last GIF. And go back to the first one. And you can see it here. That's the heart here. And this is the slow run. Okay, it's working now. So I have created a second playlist called Demo2. And this time I'm going to use a single GIF file for demonstration. Uh, I am going to change the speed only on each line. This is 16 frames per second and 8 and 2. 
And this one is zero. Basically, I'm showing a static image. Sometimes it's good to give it a pause instead of have the light flicking around all the time. I think I don't mind to put a 30 second or 60 second pause for the lights. So in this case, it's very useful to have a speed of zero. I'm not too sure whether you can change the speed of the animation in the Chingli Lights app. Anyway, you can do it here. Okay, let's send it to the Chingli Lights. In this case, I need to change it to Demo 2. So, processing the files. You can see here, there are six items in the playlist, but there are only four movies created. The reason is because we are we use the same movie. A movie is defined by uh, the name of the GIF file and the speed. If you're using the same GIF file but change the speed, then it has to load as, as a different movie. So let's have a look. So the, you can see that's the same GIF file changing the speed. This is high speed and slow down. Then here is uh, 3 seconds frozen. Now come back, s speed up again. So it's just cycling around. So at the end, I want to show you uh, the log file, just in case you encounter some error, because this screen doesn't show much information. But before you check the log file, make sure you close the application and go to the data directory. You will see the log file here. Okay, now you can see all the details here. I also want to show you the movies, how they are defined in the playlist. So you can see this is a movie list. And let's compare to our playlist. Just ignore the first one. There's a default one. And you can see here, 16 frames per second, this is this one. And the next one is 8 frames per second here and 2 frames per second here and this one is 0 frame per second this is this one and you can see th here is already the end of the list so basically he, when we use the same uh, speed and the same GIF file it doesn't add another entry into the movie list so we, we can save a little bit space for other movies. Here yeah, this is uh, all available frames. And now the next one is the playlist. Basically from here on the entries you can see here are six items same as this one. So the first one is the movie 0, then movie 1, movie 2, Movie 3, now it come back to Movie 2 and Movie 1. So it's basically the same order as this one here. Whenever you change the speed on the CSV file, it will create a new movie. So it's considered as a different movie because the uh, frame per second is stored in the movie, not in the playlist. Okay, that's all about my command line program to create a playlist for Twinkly Lights. As always, this is the kind of hacks, so I can't guarantee it will work for you. If you download it and use it at your own risk, I can't tell what could happen on your lights. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.